what is up everyone and welcome back again to another video of eternal sword m and in this video we are going to check out again the latest updates here in the game and of course we've got a lot of new features um, added this time and also i just want to apologize for not posting videos last week uh, there have been some issues but Anyways, I will still keep posting videos about Eternal Sword M, uh, especially guides, gameplays, and all the stuff. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and of course the notification bell. Okay, so let's go check out the new updates right now. So the first update is they've adjusted the third skill of Nature Miko. Uh, increasing the healing effects per second of the skill and we were going to see that if how much uh, amount of heals they've added to the skill by comparing it to the um, older version of the skill so the old version of um, Miko's third skill will heal you and of course your teammates for around uh, 15,000 and 6,000 HP per second and also activating the second phase skill will heal you and your teammates for 49,800 so this is the adjusted skill of uh, Miko's third skill increasing the heal from 15,000 to 20,000 and of course 31,000 per second and from 49,800 to 166,000 when activating the second phase skill. So, what do you guys think of the adjusted third skill of the Nature Miko? If you have, just leave your thoughts in the comment section below, especially to the Miku, Miko users out there. So, the next one is the Relic Pavilion. So, we have uh, Three pavilions now to focus, which is the mount, wing, and of course the new, which is the relic. So this feature is pretty much the same with mount and wing, uh, where you need to unlock first the relic museum. This one, so in order to unlock, we need the relic museum spirit jade, which we can get from the merit shop. For um, 1200, what is this? Merit medal. And then after uh, activating that, then you can uh, um, unlock this one. Pretty much the first two slots will be free, just like the wings and uh, And then it will increase the stats of the relic that you put on this by 50%. So the next one is the uh, new mounts added in the winter and of course here we have the new rank 15 mount which is the mnemonic manta and of course uh, these uh, two new red mounts here we have the rank 6 and the rank 7 mount and I'm still far away from uh, this one so I don't care about this for now and then part of the update also is that um, they've added uh, the total ranking of the card so if you go to um, rankings and then total then we can see here the total card CP and also they've lowered the difficulty of the first dungeon in every chapter in Rune Trials so those were the update contents that they've posted in their Facebook page and also when you log into the game but there are still a lot of new features added and one of that is the um, new dungeons in Cycle Trials we have uh, three new dungeons in our common and of course hero and all of them require us to be reborn five first oh, I'm sorry and of course two new dungeons in our hell uh, the one is reborn four and the other is reborn five and another one is 
the LAN of Exile crossover but I don't think uh, this one should be here right now uh, and also the mythic set since uh, the only way we can enter is by um, linking the item that we get in here and then clicking it to enter again the crossover land of exile as well as the mythic set where we will click the improve but anyways um, even though we um, activate uh, the sets uh, I don't think uh, they will remove the stats that you will get here they will just maybe um, disable the crossover land of excel so that no one can enter and maybe reintroduce this one soon in the game so that's it guys uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe peace out